Okay, this is the X-Ream T-Handle by Wright Medical. This is what you get sterile. Um, there are no instructions for this, except inside the container when you open it. And if you can't get to this because it's sterile, then you can't read the instructions. So I'm gonna show you how. This blade here is what comes sterile packed. This is expandable blade, expandable reamer blade from Wright Medical. This goes inside this X-Ream T-Handle, all right? These little blades here are sharp and they will cut you and they're expanding like this. They're little like windmill blades that come out. All right, so those need to stay closed until you're until you're using it. First thing you do is get out this long body here and then this notch faces the ceiling on the end of the blade and this little teeter-totter thing here will hold that in. Okay, so you're gonna slide this blade into the end of the body, all right? Slides all the way in and that little notch will raise that teeter-totter and then drop in. So I'll pull it back out just to show you. Notch up, slides in, teeter-totter goes up, drops in the notch and you're good, all right? Next, you take this control knob. This is reverse thread, threads into the back here. Reverse thread, okay? So counterclockwise all the way in until you're down. Then the T-handle, this is just a handle for, for turning and surgery. This is a forward, normal, clockwise thread. I think the other one, this I said, anyway, this is counterclockwise, this is clockwise. Um, during surgery, you're gonna open this a little bit. I think it's like a quarter turn as you, as you advance. And notice the numbers here go from one to three. This is your blade opening. You can watch down here on the blade. As I advance this from one to three, the blade will open. That expands, that's what it does inside the femoral head, okay? Before you pull this out, you have to unscrew this, or screw this back in, I should say, all the way back in, and that will allow these blades to collapse. I'm not gonna touch them with my fingers, but if you squeeze them with a towel or something, they go all the way back in, and then you can pull that out of the patient. And that's it, so.